Hi, I'm Mr Craven from the NET Director team, and I'm going to be talking you through the poem Checking Out My History by John Agard. John Agard is a playwright, poet and author. He was born in the Caribbean, but has lived in the UK for most of his adult life. He's well known for his conscious construction of voices, using dialect and accent, and focusing on racial and cultural issues. In the poem, Agard uses a Caribbean dialect voice to contrast the history, fictions and fairy tales taught to children with significant black historical figures who are ignored by the education system. By the end of the poem, the speaker is asserting their right to choose for themselves, to construct their own identity. Agard is challenging what he sees as colonialist traditions, drawing on English history and folklore, as well as nursery rhymes, and juxtaposing those with influential black historical figures, several of whom struggled against powerful white figures. For Agard, the content children are being provided with has been literally and metaphorically whitewashed. We study white figures from thousands of years ago, and even nonsense poems far more than important figures from black history. However, Agard's narrator is refusing to accept what they've been told, and is instead choosing for himself. The poem is written in free verse with rhymes scattered throughout. The style alternates between formal stanzas describing imposed cultural references, and then longer, more free-flowing sections on black historical figures. Repeating Dem Tell Me creates a structural thread, and the first and last stanzas bookend the poem to show the shift. Agard uses a dialect with phonetic spelling throughout, and juxtaposes the real and the fictional. The repetition of the pronoun Dem suggests an impersonal group, while images of light and sight link to truth and reality, and the final image of carving suggests the conscious construction of both history and identity. The poem provides a neat comparison in terms of perception, reality, culture and people with tissue, while the idea of imposing things on children also fits with... The Emigre and Kamikaze 